she's burned. <laughs> all right, we don't like that. Oh, God. So God said, put her in a basket, put a lid on top of her, a big heavy lid, and get her all the way back to Babylon where she came from. Yes, Jacob. <laughs> All right, kids, hold up those Bibles. Hold up those Bibles, Ruby. What is the Bible? The Word of God. Yes. Will you ever let Satan steal it from you? Never. Never. All right. Hey, we got a very exciting topic today. Look up at this board. What do you guys see? A witch in a bucket. A woman? Yeah, that looks like a witch and a basket. All right. Why is he in the basket? That is a good question. We are going to answer that today, okay? Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to be talking about. And we're going to go over here first and read this Bible verse. Yeah. I'm going to read it to you, all right? And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said... This is wickedness. What is an ephah? A bucket. A, bucket. a basket, right? Mm -hmm. We call them bushels today. They make people, uh, farmers, when they ship some of their corn and things like that, they ship them in bushels. All right? What um, is a talent? Do you guys know? Yeah. A gift. It's a weight. Here, it's a lid. Let me show you guys something. Here's our basket. It's gonna be, we're going to pretend that this is the basket, like up here, okay? That's the ephah. Say ephah. Ephah. All right, Ruby, say ephah. Ephah. Good job. Okay. Now this, say talent of lead. Talent of lead. What they did is they put this wicked woman in there. God said, put that wicked woman in there and seal her up. This is pretty heavy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what They put a big, heavy metal disc on this woman to keep her in there. Why do you think that would be? Anybody know? Yeah. Lucy. Uh, so she'll maybe like not be able to breathe and not have enough food. Well, so she can't get out, right? Mm -hmm. She's, it's kind of like being in jail. They said, put her in there and put a lid over her, right? Because we don't want her to get out, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this woman has a name. That is wickedness. Her name is wickedness, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the witch is wickedness. Yes. What a... Can you guys give me some examples of what wickedness is? Yeah. What does this Sewing woman discord. represent? What? Sewing discord. Sewing discord. What else? What, how about you, Ruby? What does wickedness represent? Wicked witch and the witch. She's a witch. Yeah, it represents witch and witchcraft and it's sorcery. It's written. Yes, Jacob. Lying. Lying. Stealing. Idolatry, murdering. worshiping, and, and murdering. And, and, and Mary? No, and murdering. Murdering, yeah, murdering. Yeah, and baby. boys marrying boys and girls marrying girls. This is all wickedness. Everything that is against what God tells us to do, it's Wait, wickedness. Baby. Say wickedness. You, you, have, you have to marry boys. Yes. That's God's law, right? Boys have to marry girls. Now this evil woman, she wants to come in and trick everybody to do bad things. She says, Joshua, just, just lie. It's okay. Jacob, cheat. Lucy, be a witch. Yeah. Witches have power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The evil woman, right? Yeah. She's her. <laughs> <laughs> right. We don't like that, do we? So what God said to the people, what were they doing in Jerusalem back here? Ezra, Nehemiah, uh, Zerubbabel, Zechariah, Haggai, and Joshua. What were they doing? Did I already say Joshua? 
What were they doing? Building the temple. Yeah, they were rebuilding the temple because it had been destroyed by, by the, wickedness. By wickedness, you're right. Because they had wickedness, God destroyed the city because there was so much wickedness. And um, what else were they building? They were rebuilding the city too, right? The city of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So God said, you know what? You still have wickedness in your city. And they were rebuilding. He said, you get that wickedness in a basket and get it the heck out of Jerusalem, right? Yeah. It's kind of like God saying to America, get wickedness out of your country. Because mm. was wickedness good? No. no. Is this woman good? No. Do a lot of people think she's good? Yes. yes. Yeah, they do. Because they like wickedness. But wickedness will, will destroy you. It'll bring you to hell, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want to go to heaven, right? Yeah. And be with God? We want to die. So God said, put her in a basket, put a lid on top of her, a big heavy lid, and get her all the way back to Babylon where she came from. Yes, Jacob. Babylon is like the snake den. <laughs> Babylon is the, the mother of idolatry. That's where all the false gods really started from. That's why she's also called, what name is she also called? Babylon. Mystery Babylon, the great harlot of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. She's the one that brings wickedness everywhere. So we want to get her out of, you know, we want to get her out of America, right? We want, mm -hmm. how can we get her out of America? Yes, Jacob. Read the Bible and yeah. listen to God. Read the Bible. Right. Yeah. We start learning and we say, hey, you know what? This I have wickedness in, if somebody has wickedness in their house or in their life, they say, we got to get her out of here. So if some pe if, if people have, let's say some people let evil cartoons that come in and teach kids how to do sorcery, how to disobey their parents, how to do all these other bad things, what do you think you would want to do to that? Send it yes. out. Put it. Put, it, put her in a basket and lock her up and throw her. Yes. Keep keep Mystery Babylon out of your house by not watching things that are brainwashing you to do to think and do evil things, right? Uh, um, do you guys have any questions? No. Where did God say... Oh, wait. I do have another um, point to make. There were two women that grabbed this woman with the basket and they had wings, big wings, like a stork. And they flew her from Jerusalem to Babylon. Yes. Well, those girls were probably, wait, they were either probably like her daughters flying her there or it was angels flying her. I, I think it was probably good angels. They were flying wickedness out of there. Yes, Lucy. Um, we, I, um, why is she in the basket? She's in the basket because they want to get her out of Jerusalem. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, is Mystery Babylon, is she in our country today? Yes. Yeah, we haven't put her in a basket, have we? No. Our, our family has, and other Christian families have. Yeah. And every time yeah. we see her sneak in, we put her in the basket and get her out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we, America... We, we, we are doing it right now. Yeah. Do you know why there's people shooting people and stuff? You guys have seen that in the news, right? Mm -hmm. Bad people shooting people. Like the Jason Aldean concert. Yep. And, uh, and other bad things that you see on the news. It's because wickedness is... In America, we let her live here. Yes. It's because wickedness sends demons into, into people. You're into right. Minds. Absolutely right. That's why there's this. That's why every time you watch uh, a lot of news channels and things like that, they're always say, trying to say how much they hate Donald Trump. Demons try to get people to hate, hate, hate. Oh, they, uh, uh, you know all that, right? That's very bad. That's wickedness. That's evil. Um, all right. So we need to get her out of our country. We spiritually put her in the bucket. Yeah, spiritually put her in the bucket. Why can't we put her in the bucket for real? Well, because it's a symbol. She's not. There's not just one woman. Well, she's you know, not. There was one woman that kind of is a symbol of uh, 
of wickedness. Who was that? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, right? She was for uh, abortion, mm -hmm. which is killing babies, right? Mm -hmm. Murdering babies. That's very dumb. That's evil. She's for abominations of, of boys marrying boys and girls marrying girls. And she lies all the time. She, she was a witch. She practiced uh, witchcraft. Yes. She practices, well, she allows idolatry. Idolatry, yep. She is kind of like the same thing as this woman right here. Yeah, because she's a big guy. And a lot of people were tricked by her, weren't they? They actually voted for her. People that say they are Christians actually voted for wickedness. Is that good? No, they're, they're, they're stupid. Well, yeah, they're, they're deceived. Evil. Yep. They're evil. But that, they, they are stupid because they don't know the Bible. Yes, Jacob. They don't read it every day. Yes. Hillary Clinton is probably like one of wickedness's oldest daughters, probably. Yeah, she's like a daughter of Mystery Babylon, isn't she? See, she's the daughter of Hillary. Yeah. Okay. I got some questions here, and then we're going to end this, okay? Where did the woman get flown to? Yes. Babylon. Babylon. From where? Jerusalem. Yes, this is kind of a map here, okay? Jerusalem to Babylon. Um, what commandment tells us not to worship false gods? Uh, Joshua. What commandment? Do not idle. It's the easiest one. Do not idle. Two. Do not idle. Number one. Huh? The I first... thought that was Lord's name in vain. No, nope, the first commandment is you shall worship no other gods. Right? No, but then second is... That's false idols. False idols. Not, That's second. Not, yep, no, number not, two is but, the idols. Not worshiping the false gods. Let me show you a picture of... Um, you guys see that? The woman flying her out the basket? No. Or the two women flying the woman in the basket out of there? Do you see that? Yeah. They're flying yeah. wickedness out of there. Do you see that, Ruby? Yeah. I, I'll see it again. Want to see that again? Yeah. yeah. There, but there's like four, not three, not two. No, these are just watching. These angels no, are watching. No, but there's three in there. No, there's two. There's two. Well, there was three. One put in the lid up. You're right. Okay. Now remember this? Remember when we did this one? Yeah. yeah. The evil spirits yeah. of Babylon? Yeah. Yeah. Pride, sloth, um, wrath, gluttony, lust. Can we watch that one today? Okay. Now here is what I came here to show you. That was Ishtar. Who's Ishtar? She was the was the main god of Babylon. She pretty much is this wicked woman. Ishtar. Oh, she tries to get people to yep. think she's they, pretty. They made idols of her and statues and they worshipped her. And they did all kinds of bad things. Yeah, because they think she's in her pretty. Name. They think she's pretty. Yeah. They did all kinds of bad things in her name. Okay, I got a couple she's more. She's pretty, but she's not. She's just so, she thinks she's so cool, but she's actually nothing but a fool. <laughs> yep, Mystery Babylon really doesn't look quite like that most of the time. She tries to look really nice and beautiful, but, but inside she's wicked, right? Inside she's like that. Yeah, inside she's like that. But some, some uh, of Mystery Babylon's daughters will even just dress like that today, okay? You can see them on, in, uh, on some music videos. You guys probably don't, haven't seen that, but... Um, I have Okay? I have, but I've seen witchcraft. Okay. Okay. How can we get Mystery Babylon out of America? We already, I already asked you this, but let's see if you remember. Uh, yes. I you, know. you put her in a basket and, and walk put her out. You lay down and launch her out to a different country. Yep, and that's the symbol, but how do we... And lock it up. How, you guys already answered this question. How do we get Mystery Babylon out of America, Ruby? How do you think? Yeah. How do we get her out of here? Yeah. You put her in a basket? It's in a basket. And get her out of here? Get out of here. <laughs> in Jesus' name, yeah. we, we study the Bible, mm -hmm. and we try to follow God's laws, right? Yeah. 
as a country, that's how we can get wickedness out of here. We stop worshiping idols. We start being, we start loving our we, neighbor as our step. We don't uh, really worship idols. Yeah, I'm talking about Americans. A lot of Americans still worship idols, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what was the name of the female Babylonian goddess? I just showed you a picture of her. This was Babylon. She had another name, though. Ishtar. 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 All right, that's it. You guys got any questions for me? All right, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. How about that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Now you guys see why that's in the prayer? Yeah. For thine this is the kingdom, kingdom and, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Good job, kids. What do you got there, bud? You cut it out? right in the basket, huh? Get that wickedness out of here, right? <laughs>